Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and today we're going to look at creating 3D effects from a photograph using some layering and text tools inside of Adobe Express. Here you can see I've already pre-made my piece, and I'm just going to break it down from there and show you what I did. Uh, this back layer that I'm getting ready to move, I use stripes. Usually when you use stripes and lines like that, it gives depth to the picture. It gives uh, some visual cues that, that make it different. Um, now you're seeing I'm changing my background because it's a little bit easier for me to work with. It's not as bright and again, it's still there. Uh, if you're using a desktop app, it's a little bit easier to move off the actual layering piece. If you're using the phone, you can sometimes get those pieces lost. So my blue ring will show the edge of my actual background photograph. So the turtle itself will actually stay all the way back there. The blue ring will be on top of it. And then the lettering will be on top of the blue ring. So you're seeing I'm, I'm trying to make sure all of this is still grouped together, that it's uh, centered, and it makes sense. Now, inside of the photograph, I picked the turtle's head as the best way to create a 3D effect because it sticks out. It would have lettering that would go behind it. So what I did was I actually took the original piece. You can see here it's the actual original piece of the photograph and used the background removal key or tool to just remove the whole background from the photograph. Then I went and looked to see where there was overlays. So you can see on the left, the your word is actually overlaid by the turtle. So I'm gonna have to trim that piece back and over. And then I'll stop. I'll look and see if there's anything else. You can actually see some of the bleed through where it's gonna be there. And as I was doing this, I realized I actually only need the part where his head is going over the lettering. Now some of my other pieces I would do something different um, like in my pieces the space ones that I've shown before but with this one with the turtle one I just need his head to stick out over the actual semicircle of the words so I just cut it down to there and that's the only piece that you see. Now here's what I'm going to bring back into the stripes. Now you're going to notice as you do this if you start to layer these pieces again and you want to make sure they're centered something's going to do. So if you watch, I took off the words, now I'm centering and I'm centering, and now my head that I just did with the 3D piece didn't shift with everything else. So you've got to be careful and notice when you start layering these pieces and moving them that the top layer that is the over piece to make that 3D depth effect is actually moving with the rest or that it's actually already been grouped to the words. So it makes sense and it does it. Since I like what I have, I'm gonna go ahead and download it just in case. Never know, might back it up, might open it, change something accidentally. And then here you can see it pops up. This is what it looks like. Exactly what I wanted. That 3D effect in front of the post, behind the turtle's head, looks great. And this is an amazing tool you can use in your classrooms to teach some different design ideas. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button there on the right or click on the video above to see one of the other tutorials I've made. Again, this is Brian Wilson. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.